It's a commuter equivalent of sticker shock. For some, the daily trip to and from Miami and Fort Lauderdale from the West Palm Beach Brightline Station is about to triple. I'm disappointed, hoping they change their mind. Kathy Nonamaker rides Brightline weekdays to her executive job at the Museum of Discovery and Science in Fort Lauderdale. Right now, she and other commuters buy 40 one-way tickets for $399 to all destinations between West Palm Beach and Miami. Beginning June 1st, Brightline will be selling packages where 40 tickets will cost $1,400. That's a 251% increase. Commuters are stunned. The key word is budget. The budget is blown. I can't afford this commute anymore. On its webpage, Brightline writes, it has become increasingly difficult to accommodate all guests as peak trains are reaching capacity. As a result, the sale of train passes will be discontinued, effective June 1st. I wanted to ask Brightline why it's not adding trains or adding cars to its trains. It did not return my calls or emails. Local leaders offered tax breaks and helped Brightline get state and federal grants to get the project started. I called four elected officials. The only response came from Palm Beach County Mayor Maria Sachs. She was a state lawmaker who helped Brightline get state grants a decade ago. By phone, she said the price hike feels like a bait and switch, adding she will attempt to find grant money to help commuters defray the costs of fare hikes. Brightline single ticket prices, including fares to Orlando, are not affected. Kathy Nunnemaker bought a condo with her husband in downtown West Palm Beach three years ago to be near the Brightline station. She says she just can't afford the new commuter fares. I am a little confused that they don't want to support the commuters that have been riding all this time and keeping them in business. Commuters are hoping their elected officials will convince Brightline to at least lower the fare increases, but that may not be easy. Brightline's a private company and can set its own rates. In West Palm Beach, Dave Bowman, WPTV News Channel 5.